Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be cleaning my entire house. I had a whole lot to do. We took the weekend off from doing any pickup or cleanup in the house and so there was a whole lot that needed to get done to get the house back in order after the weekend. So I hope this gives you some motivation to get your house back in order before the weekend or after the weekend or the middle of the week, whatever it may be. But we are starting off today in my bedroom. I just got my blinds open and I'm going to get my bed made first thing in the morning. Now over the weekend I had switched around some laundry so there was some clean clothes on my dresser that did not get folded so I'm just going to toss those onto my bed and get those folded. Once I'm done getting all of those clean clothes put away, I'm gonna head into the laundry room and grab another basket of clean laundry out of the dryer. And this was mainly a basket full of clothes that were the boys and like towels for the kids bathroom from ones that they had used from playing out in the pool and the slip and slide. So now I'm gonna get all of their clothes folded. Now I'm gonna hand off those clothes to the boys so they can get them put away, and I'm just gonna take a Swiffer duster and start dusting everything down in my room. My room gets super dusty, and I really need to get a new filter for our air purifier. I've actually talked about this and mentioned it in a video before, but I still have not gotten a new filter, so I need to do that. So my room gets really dusty, and you can like see it flying around in the sun in this video while I was dusting, but I just got my dresser all dusted off and then wiped down with my Love Meg multi-surface cleaner now I'm gonna do the same thing on my desk and also Donnie's dresser I'm also taking my Swiffer duster and I'm gonna dust off the window sills and my nightstand, my lamps. These get so dusty. You guys can see the little particles of dust in the sun. It's crazy how much you can see dust in the sun. I couldn't even see this when I was filming, but then watching this footage back, just because of the angle of the camera, you could see it. Pretty crazy. But I'm also going to wipe off the top of my headboard because that was pretty dusty. And then I'm moving over to Donnie's side of the bed and I'm going to wipe all of his stuff down and dust it all as well. I knew you 
Now today I am using my LG Cord Zero cordless vacuum. I do have that linked in the description box for you guys. And I'm just gonna run the vacuum here in my room now. Once I'm done running the vacuum in my bedroom, I'm just going to quickly run it here in the bathroom. I know this is kind of a weird angle because I was holding the camera, but just did a quick vacuum of my bathroom today. Now I'm just giving you a quick little view of what my vacuum looks like after just vacuuming my bedroom and my bathroom. Pretty crazy, but that's what happens when you skip a few days of vacuuming around here with our two pets and our kids and all of that. So now I'm just gonna take my big laundry basket out of my bathroom and wheel that into the laundry room and get some laundry switched around. Now that I have got laundry folded, switched around, started, all of that, we're gonna head into the living room. It is a little bit of a mess and just everything is kind of out of place. So I'm gonna get all the pillows put back where they need to go, blankets put back where they need to go, and then we're also going to dust everything in here and wipe everything down. So I'm using my Swiffer duster first just to go over everything and get it all dust free which you guys will see here in a second. I'm going to show you a little view of what the duster looks like just after dusting off my TV table or my TV stand whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm just going to dust everything off and then I'm also going to wipe everything down with that Love Meg multi-surface cleaner. Absolutely love it and it smells so good and it works on every single surface in my house. Fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you Now that everything is wiped down and clean, I'm going to vacuum the living room. All right, headed into the kitchen. I had some stuff out here on the counter that just needs to be put away in my little office desk area in my room. So I'm gonna get all of that picked up 
And then I'm just giving you guys a view of what the oven was looking like, or the stove top, I guess, is what it would be called. Um, the stove was looking very dirty and gross and needed to be really cleaned, like deep cleaned. So I'm taking all the grates off and the little burners, and then I'm just taking a paper towel and getting anything loose, like little food pieces and stuff off of there. And then I'm gonna spray it down with my Love Meg cleaner and just let that sit and kind of degrease everything while I get the dishwasher unloaded and loaded. Now the dishwasher is loaded and the sink is empty, so I am just gonna take some Blue Dawn dish soap and a scrubber brush, and I'm gonna put all of the grates one by one into the sink from the stove and get those all scrubbed down because they were all pretty greasy and dirty and needed a good scrubbing. So this whole time, this has just been sitting with that Love Meg cleaner soaking on there. So I'm just gonna take a cleaning rag and wipe all of that off, spray a little bit more on there. And then once I have all of that wiped off, it does a really good job of like degreasing. So once I have all of the grease and food wiped off of there, I am gonna take my CLR stainless steel cleaner and use that to polish everything up. Once I'm done with the stove top, it looks so much better and it makes me feel so much better not having a dirty kitchen. I'm going to use that Love Meg multi-surface cleaner and spray down my counters and get those all wiped down also.
Now that everything is wiped down and clean, I'm going to run the vacuum in the kitchen. All right, now we are going to head out back and we had spent the weekend going down to the creek. So we had our pool bag, our creek bag back there and tons of towels. We had been laying in the sun and playing in the pool and playing in the creek and the slip and slide and everything. So I had tons of towels out there and my chair and all of that. So I'm just gonna get the back patio kind of straightened up a little bit and get the towels into the dirty clothes so those can get washed. I'm gonna just wipe down these chairs real quick and then I'm also going to spray down our fire pit table and get that all cleaned also how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Now once I get those towels to the dirty clothes, I am taking that Love Mag multi-surface cleaner and a fresh cleaning rag and I'm going to wipe down the sliding glass door. When it's gray outside, it really makes me wonder. Alright, headed into the dining area here. I actually forgot to wipe down this little table here in the corner of the living room, so I'm gonna wipe that down. And then I'm going to get some of this stuff on the dining room table put away where it needs to go. And then we're gonna head on into Berkeley's room and get it all cleaned up. She just had a bunch of books out on her floor, so she's gonna help me get some of this stuff put away. And I'm gonna get her room all picked up, get her bed made, and also vacuum in here. Until winter comes It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder Now heading back into the dining room, everything is now off of the dining room table, so I'm just taking that same cleaner, I'm gonna spray down my dining room table, wipe down the table, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the chairs on the part where you sit. They always get lots of fingerprints on them, so every once in a while I just give them a good wipe down also. And now this whole area is wiped down, so I'm gonna take the vacuum and run that in here and get everything up off of the floor that was wiped off of the table. Single thing. You don't know how much 
much I want you Just looking at you makes my whole world spin Moving on to the hallway now, we had a bunch of bags here. The kids had spent the night with Donnie's mom over the weekend, and so I still had not unpacked their bags. So I'm getting all the dirty clothes out and just getting everything sorted out and having the kids come get their stuff, take it to their rooms, put it where it needs to go. And we're just gonna get this pile of stuff cleaned up in the hallway so then I can vacuum. So like I said, once everybody was done putting everything where it needed to go, I'm gonna run the vacuum in here. Headed into the kids bathroom. This is also our guest bathroom, so I like to keep it clean all the time um, But I'm just spraying this Clorox foam all over the counters in the sink And I'm gonna get this all wiped down with a white cleaning rag Now I'm taking that Love Meg multi-surface cleaner and a paper towel and I'm gonna wipe down the mirror here in the bathroom. And I'm taking that Clorox foamer cleaner and I'm gonna spray that all over the toilet and just use a white cleaning rag to wipe all of that down. And I've talked about this in my cleaning videos before, but any of the cleaning rags that I use, they go into a separate basket in the laundry room. And once the basket is full of cleaning rags, I run a whole load on the disinfect cycle in my washing machine. So then I know all of the cleaning rags get super, super clean. I'm just using my Clorox wand to clean the inside of the toilet bowl and then I'm putting the bath mat up and closing the shower and just getting a new rag hung up in there. And now moving back out to the hallway, I decided to spray down this chalkboard and get a clean slate for the kids to be able to draw. All right, now headed into the boys' bedroom. They made their beds and picked everything up like they are supposed to do, and I'm just gonna run the vacuum in here. Ever since I deep cleaned their room, they have been doing a really good job of staying on top of keeping everything picked up, so a mama loves that. All right, I had a load done in the washer, so I'm going to switch that over to the dryer now and then get another load started in the wash. We are just on top of laundry today. We are getting it all done and getting caught up and we love that.
But my friends, the video is coming to an end. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I hope this gave you some motivation to get your butt in gear and get some stuff done around your house. I know you can do it. I'm cheering you on. So let's rock and roll and get to cleaning. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and I will see you in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.